Okay, let's do this. 509, Central Process. We're live. Right. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here. Thank you, Cheryl. Good to see you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I want to uh, welcome you to a frank and open discussion about our future together. I want to welcome the SA Drift Insiders as well, for those who might be joining us uh, that way. We had several uh, other invites out for people from command as well as uh, other places. They may be still traveling. I hear the traffic's pretty bad. Traffic's been horrendous the last couple of days. I mean, just how great it is. But, uh, so here we are. I want to thank you all for coming. Um, we have been talking uh, for some time. I'm, I'm particularly glad to have Alvin Gracie here with us because uh, I mean, he's kind of been, a, I think, the pioneer in regards to a lot of discussions about reaching out and doing things in diff different ways, uh, in different approaches. And uh, I think even the Facebook tag that we put on here this, this morning for this event says, excited about doing things differently. And um, I'm extremely excited about the possibilities of uh, teaming up with some of the lead estate sale groups around town uh, for a variety of reasons which we will discuss. So our time together is, is basically this today to, uh, to, to learn Long before I got here, uh, Jim knew a guy, and so I'm going to turn it over to him for the first few minutes to explain to us how we got to the point we are, which I believe is a very exciting point, but we, I think we would all agree we certainly need to grow in a number of areas. So would you welcome with me, please, all the way from uh, uh, Springfield, is it Illinois? It's still in Illinois. Springfield, Illinois, I'm with Jim Bracey. Unfortunately, I have a 15-minute presentation, of which 10 of which is a, a video presentation that I stole. Okay? But I think it's important to show this 10 minutes first, and then my part's really, really quick. It's really quick. I'm excited to be here. Uh, I wouldn't have driven three hours and 20 minutes to come to 
Chicago for an estate sales symposium unless I thought it was important to the Salvation Army and for the folks that we work with, the partners that we work with. We have very few estate sales in Springfield. No one is leaving Springfield. They love it there. They're not moving. I think they're stuck there. So, you know, that's, that's a fact. We don't have the same amount of estate sales in Springfield as is in Chicago. But I just want to show this 10 minute video, wrap it up with about four and a half minutes of my stuff, and I think you'll find this interesting. Let's watch this just for a second. Those of you on SA Thrift Live watching us uh, via the internet, if you have messages, we might not see them where the camera is, so why don't you text either Jim Bracey or Demetrius Mabry with your questions or comments, and we'll get to you in real time. In the year 1843, a man was 